What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is finally the first video I am recording in the new house. I'm so excited. I still have a lot of work to do so I'm not gonna produce as much videos as before but I can start again to produce some on Infinite Magic Red and this is gonna be really exciting and I have so many things to say about the game at the moment because I missed a lot of things in the past on my YouTube channel and so this is gonna be really interesting. Second great news the event on Aptoid is starting today from the December 15th to December 22nd. I'm gonna post a link of a form in the description of this video. The only thing you have to do in order to participate is to fulfill the form and also between the 15th of December, so today and the 22nd of December, you have to do to make five purchases on up to it. Don't worry, you can buy five packs of one dollar only and the reward is just completely insane. Imagine if you spend only five dollars, you are the winner of one of the three gift cards. You are gonna be so freaking happy because the gift cards, as I said on my previous video, are gonna be insane. The first price is one thousand dollars on up to it. Yes, you heard me correctly, one thousand dollars. This is completely absurd. This is the first price. This is only app coins credits. Okay. Okay, this is not real money, this is coins that you can reuse to buy packs in the game, in this game or in another game if Aptoid works with that game. The second price is a $500 gift card and the third one is $250. This is completely insane. $1,000. $750 gift cards that time from December 15th to December 22nd. You have to buy five packs in the game using up to it and to fulfill the form in the description below. This is insane and I wish you have the best luck on this event to earn this app coins credit. This is completely insane. So um, these all the details. Now let's talk about the game. As you can see this is the launcher and you have the new faction behind because we are gonna have the new faction soon, probably next week because we are gonna have the Miracle Wishes and I don't know if uh, we are gonna have a new limited hero in this faction next week uh, because they need to uh, run the new faction, right? But uh, next week also we are gonna have the Miracle Wishes of Christmas and so normally we should have a new limited hero so I guess that the new limited hero is gonna be from the new faction. So more stuff to talk about. Uh, we had an, an update on the cloister. Something interesting because now we can run multi battles but it's taking a huge amount of multi battles tickets entries here. Uh, they gave us a bit more to compensate an error occurred on the on the cloister but yeah uh, in, in fact, they increased the number of permanent cards you can get. You can get 3 every 25 fights if you can beat the boss, so it's going faster than before, but still it's taking a lot of time and it's taking a lot of diamonds if you want to refill your multi-battle stamina here and to obtain all of these. Also, there is a problem, an issue, another issue. I asked them to do that, I have no answer yet, but you have some keys, right? And at the beginning of the week, on Monday, uh, you, you are losing all your buffs, right? So that means you can't farm the uh, stage you were currently farming on the previous week, week, right? So you need to farm again to get your buffs and so you need to farm lower stages and so it's using all your keys on lower stages, especially if you want to run multi battles in order to, in order to acquire them fast, okay? And this is bad. So what I did, uh, I farmed only the 25th, but I did it mostly uh, in manual because I couldn't auto battle it. So I lost a lot of keys because the drop rates are not as high as the stage I am currently able to farm. Uh, so I wish that in the future, near future they add the possibility to claim the rewards or not just a simple checkbox so we can decide if we want to use our keys or not so the second thing is that in order to acquire all the buffs the maximum is 150 
uh, it's taking, you need to complete 50 times it in any difficulty. And so it's, uh, it's using so many multi battles. This is completely crazy. Okay. Completely absurd. So uh, this is what I'm going to do today. Uh, I have uh, almost done that one. I, they nerfed a bit the boss on stage 26 to 30. I don't know about the 31 yet, so I'm going to complete it and probably add it to my video. Because you have a simple strategy, you need the right heroes in order to beat Nejia, the boss, on the last stage. You need Poisoners, and I have a great team. Last week, without nerfing the boss, I was able to beat the difficulty 29 using no limited hero yet, no limited hero. I'm going to show you the team, if I can continue here. Uh, this is the team, no, this is not the team I was using, that one, really important, just let me explain it to you, Dakota needs to have the exclusive 2 minimum, okay, so she can revive at the beginning of the fight, this is really important because Nejia, the boss, is gonna play before all your heroes, and so he is gonna uh, one-shot one of your hero. Dakota with the exclusive 2 is able to revive that hero, really important, and then... Melot is also an important hero. She is here in order to make your other poisoners push you the target and so they can put an extra poison on the boss, reducing the layers of special buff the boss has and so he can't one-shot your heroes after that. It's really important. But if you don't have Melot, you have other epic solutions. Same comment for Magdi because in the team I have Nordak. Nordak is increasing your uh, HP if you have the exclusive 3 on him, applying a lot of shield on your heroes and the damage immunity really important in this content. So you don't need Magdi to apply the shield on your heroes and protect your heroes. Uh, so these two are not monetary and Nida is a mythic hero. So if you want, you can use her. If you have a Veronica, you can use a Veronica. If you don't have both of them, you can replace them by another epic poisoner and you have some. Let me, uh, please let me show that. Uh, just go right here and uh, uh, select poisoners. Um, am I blind? Okay, here they are. You have Stan, you have Melissa, they are great poisoners because look at that, on the ultimate he can put f up to 5 layers of poisons in one attack. You need to put only 3 uh, poisons per hero and so it's working super well with this hero. Just need one skill and so you have all the poisons you need on the boss directly. So you can replace Melod by that guy. But if you do so, you need to replace Magdi by another one. And you can use the Malasa instead. You can put up to two poisons with that skill and you can put other poisons with other skills. So it's gonna work. It is gonna work. You have other solution. I don't know if she is working correctly. I haven't tried her yet. Uh, so you need poisons already on the bus in order to place other poisons. And maybe that guy can work. Uh, one layer of poisons and then he has some counter attacks. So probably he can put some poisons on the bus. But yeah, this is not that um, efficient. And maybe that guy, I don't remember how many poisons he can put, only one per attack, I think, so he is not a great one. But Stan and Malasa, trust me, they are great poisoners. Uh, you have also Taff, but he's not gonna apply a lot. You have that guy, he can apply two poisons at once, it's an interesting guy also. When he takes a hit, he can place a poison on the opponent, and he's gonna passively increase the poison damage you are gonna deal, and reduce the damage, direct damage you are gonna take, depending on the layers of poisons on the boss. Really, really, really interesting. Okay, so here we are. This is the final boss of the stage 31 and this is the team I'm gonna use as I said right before. So let's try the fight to see if he is ha harder than the previous stage. Yeah, as I was saying, look at that. He has four layers of this unique buff on himself. This is one more layer than on the stage 30 because as they said, they nerfed the boss on, on difficulty 26 to difficulty 30. Okay, so from 26 to 30, now they have only three layers as on previous stages and 
uh, starting on the difficulty 31, he has four layers. So now, at this stage, you are forced to use this team with four poisoners at least. Because in order to remove one layer on the boss, you need to put uh, three poisons with one different hero each time, okay? So this is also why Dakota S22 is mandatory. As you said, he played before my heroes and he one-shotted my melot. If you have a look to his speed, 3044. Also, he has 180% effect resistance. This is what, uh, this is why you need to have a ton of ca buff cards to increase your effect hit, okay? Now let's check how much effect hit I have on my heroes. 203% here, 233, uh, 200 and uh, 212, okay? This is important, really important. And then you need to have a lot of shielded effect, shield effect cards to increase the survivability of your heroes because your Nordak is going to apply great shield on your heroes. So... Let's apply that buff. Let's use that. One poison on the boss. Okay, it's not sufficient. Increase my speed with Dakota. Uh, more poisons on the boss. And as you saw, he lost one layer of that buff. And my Nita has that buff above her head. That means she can't have more than one. Okay, this is why you need multiple poisoners in your team. So now let's apply a shield. And because the boss has only three layers now, he can't one-shot my heroes using the first active skill. Otherwise, she, my melot would be dead, uh, no matter the buffs on her head, okay? So now I'm gonna use that skill, so my poisoners are gonna pursue the boss. Because they already uh, put a poison on him. Now I'm gonna use the basic attack to apply another poisons. poison. So now... Two layers only on the boss. One layer is on my MACD, one is on my Nida. So that time I'm gonna use that skill and normally I have a lot of poisons on the boss so she is gonna re uh, replace them by the same amount of poisons and so she's gonna get that buff on her head. Normally. Yeah, that was the case. So now only my Melot needs to apply a poison on the boss otherwise this is gonna fail. And this is okay. So no buff anymore on the boss. He lost one turn of cooldown on the ultimate. And now I'm going to be able to tank the next attack. And this is how it goes. Uh, po using poisons. As you see. Uh, yeah, this is be behind me. As you see, the boss has 3 billion HP. This is insane. Using other kind of damage is not gonna work or this is gonna take a lot of time but it's not gonna work because if you can't place poisons on the boss you are gonna be one-shotted no matter the buffs you're gonna have. But with poisons and a ton of gift uh, of buff cards you can reach really really high attack mastery effect hit speed shield effect etc and this is really important. I'm gonna put that again put more poisons on the boss and he's taking a lot of damage so now as you can see no one no none of my hero is dead but the boss every time he's using the ultimate he's getting the uh, layers of this buff back on him on his head so you need to be careful with your cooldowns to be able to put again three poisons per hero okay only two layers remaining my Dakota is gonna make my heroes pursue the boss and apply one poison Think I need one more poison with my Magdi and two with my Melot. Um, let's use that. Okay, only one layer remaining. This is my Melot. And this is okay. And normally I, sh I can run that in auto and it should work. Now, thanks to the update we had this Thursday, you don't have to worry about losing the fight because if your entire team is defeated, you are not going to lose your heroes. You can replay and this is so freaking great. So you don't have to uh, exit the fight. But be careful because if you win the fight, we, uh, losing one or two heroes, uh, you are not going to be able to use them on the next stage. And as you can see, it is working. Three layers remaining on the boss. 
I have five poisons on my melot. I hope that the shield can tank. And yes, it was the case. This is why HP buffs, shield effects, shielded effects are also really important. But the effect hit is the most important thing. And I lost one hero and I think that I'm gonna lose. Okay, for now I'm still alive. Can I win that? I don't think because now the boss has all the layers on, he on his head. And so I can't deal enough damage and he is healing himself. So even with that, it's not always working. You have to die and retry. But I was close. Yeah, re the revive. Now I put the poisons. Uh, normally the small casting, I said it as I said on the on the previous fight. So it should be it should work. Only one layer remaining. With my melot, I guess. Yes, this is my melot, and this is okay. So, one turn of cooldown increase on the boss ultimate. Speed increase. Now it's just a matter of time, normally. Yeah, it's not taking a lot of time if you have the correct buffs on your heroes. And the correct stats. Because I increased a lot the speed of my heroes and the effect hit. And I lowered their attack and their mastery with the gear. That was really important for that specific boss only. I'm gonna show you the stats of my heroes right after. This is important. Okay, we are close. He's gonna reuse his ultimate. And get back the layers. Four layers. Three layers. Only two. For now, my heroes are still alive. So that time, it might work. Only one layer remaining. This is my melot, as always. Okay, it's gonna work. 70 turns, something like that, almost 2 minutes. And that's perfect, I can continue. What am I gonna get? This is the two last I was needed. And... Horrify Resistance. Who is using Horrify? today this is and this is what i get uh, most of the time um okay gonna have to try to get higher uh, to reach higher stages maybe i can get something interesting in higher stages i don't know so let's check my heroes this is my nida as i said i have a lot of speed on her okay i have a speed set and uh, a first aid set 47k attack and I have 143% effect hit and 113% mastery only. Okay, so if you are curious, this is the echo I'm using on her to increase her mastery. Uh, I'm using the Sora so she has a bit more attack and effect hit during the fight. Uh, in terms of blessing, I'm using uh, that one 1.1%. 1 uh, this is a joke, this is not great, but that one is a mythic one with the rank C. This is not a great one, but still increasing her poison damage, so I'm using it. Uh, then, uh, this, these are all the emblems of my Nida. Okay, so then the next poisoner, where are they? This is my Dakota, 2378 speed. I'm using a first aid set and a speed set, a 39k attack. I have a 146% effect hit and 115% mastery. Almost the same gear. Using this echo, so she has a bit more effect hit. I'm using the Sora, so she has a bit more mastery during the fight. No blessing for now. Emblems, this is what I'm using at the moment. Uh, then this is my Magdi. Two speed sets, 2,454 speed on him. I have a 38k attack, 143% effect hit, and 130% almost mastery. 
using this echo to have a bit more effect hit, this aura to have a bit more damage, no blessing at all, and those emblems. Okay, for her, and this is my Melot. I have two speed sets, 2,285 speed, 41k attack, 140% effect hit, 125% mastery. I'm using this Echo. This is her Echo, so she has more mastery, and she can uh, increase the damage of the others when she makes them pursue the target. Uh, Aura, the same as the others, no blessing, and these emblems. And the last one was my Nordak, okay, this is my, one of my main characters, so I'm using a feather set and a speed set on him, he has almost 900k HP, 2700 speed, and this is mainly the stats he needs, 61% crit rate and a bit crit damage, but this is mostly because of the Sanctuary, to be honest, and yeah, this is a nice hero. I'm using this Echo, so he has more HP during the fight. It would be yeah, even better if he, I got some stars on it, but yeah, it's already great. Uh, this aura, so he has more HP and even more in Dwarven Ruins. I'm using those blessings, 3.8% uh, more HP and uh, 2000 flat HP and these emblems. Oh, and before ending the video, I wanted to summon, because there is the Double Legion event, uh, there is this new kind of event, you need to spend a huge amount of excellent wishes, I don't know if it is gonna stay forever until you can claim the rewards, but you can get a chest on which you can select the hero you want, uh, you have five different choices, this is really interesting. Nobody is interesting me in this um, banner, so for the first time, I'm gonna set it off. And I'm gonna summon one PD in order to get what I uh, to see what I can get, so let's do it. With 10 pools, just to claim the double the legend hero. Okay, the first 10 pool. Verto. I'm not using him anymore though. Okay, I never used that one. I wonder who am I gonna get? As I said, this is the first time I'm setting off the banner. So I'm curious to see who am I gonna get. And I have the new guy of the banner. This, this is funny, right? When I don't set off the banner, I never get, almost never get the new one. Oh, uh, wait a second. No, he was a new one from another banner, right? He's not in this one. What am I saying? What am I saying? So, close to the PD as always. Maybe here. Okay. A Fiona exclusive 4. And a lamb. Not usable. <laughs> He's not usable today, so that was my double legend. Hope you've been more lucky than I. I'm gonna tease you a bit for the next video. I'm gonna show you the team I am currently using in PvP because uh, there is two variations of that um, of that team. Um, I'm gonna show that to you. And this is the one. I'm using Nilua finally, and she is an amazing hero for this kind of content. I have almost 100% win rate using that team. Only one guy, uh, I'm losing against one guy, and this is Bailey, but this is normal because this is Bailey, okay? And the variation is replacing Nilua by a Ronai. She is another great hero and I'm gonna showcase that in another video. So stay tuned, have a nice day and see you soon. Bye-bye.